which rocks contain gold. Gold is found in a variety of rock types, but it typically occurs in specific geological environments. Here is a detailed overview of the types of rocks and settings where gold is found. 1. Igneous Rocks Gold in quartz veins, hydrothermal deposits gold is often found in veins of quartz within igneous and metamorphic rocks. These veins form when hot, mineral-rich water moves through cracks in the rock, depositing gold as it cools. This is the source of many gold deposits around the world, including load gold deposits. Intrusive igneous rocks, plutonic rocks gold may be present in granitic rocks, which are formed deep underground. As magma cools slowly, large crystals form, and sometimes the slower cooling also allows for gold mineralization to occur. Extrusive igneous rocks, volcanic rocks gold can be associated with volcanic rock, especially when hydrothermal systems related to volcanic activity introduce gold deposits into nearby rocks. 2. Sedimentary Rocks Conglomerate and sedimentary gold deposits, gold is sometimes concentrated in sedimentary rocks, such as conglomerates. An example of this is the Witwatersrand Basin in South Africa, where gold is found in ancient riverbed deposits. Placers and alluvial deposits, gold eroded from other rocks often gets transported by water and accumulates in stream beds, river channels, or even beaches. These placer deposits are found in loose sediment and are among the earliest sources of mined gold. Black shales, in some areas, gold can be associated with organic-rich black shales. These rocks can act as a reducing environment that precipitates and concentrates gold from circulating fluids. 3. Metamorphic Rocks Greenstone belts, these ancient, metamorphosed volcanic and sedimentary rocks often contain gold deposits. Greenstone belts are one of the primary settings for load gold deposits. The alteration of rocks under high pressure and temperature leads to the concentration of gold in veins, fractures, and faults within these rocks. Schists and gneisses, gold can be found in metamorphic rocks like schist and gneiss, which form under conditions of high pressure and temperature. Hydrothermal activity related to regional metamorphism can mobilize gold and cause it to precipitate in cracks or folds within the host rock. 4. Or bodies and deposits. Epithermal gold deposits, formed from hot waters close to the Earth's surface, these deposits often contain gold within altered host rocks and are linked to volcanic activity. Carlin-type gold deposits, these are sediment-hosted deposits found in Nevada, USA, among other places. Gold occurs as microscopic particles within carbonate rocks, such as limestone, and is often associated with arsenic-rich minerals. Porphyry deposits, these deposits are large, low-grade mineral deposits associated with intrusive rocks. They contain disseminated gold along with other metals, such as copper, often linked with porphyritic textures and stockwork veins. Scarns, these are formed by contact metamorphism when igneous intrusions come into contact with carbonate rocks like limestone. Gold may be present in the mineralized zones formed due to heat and fluid exchange. 5. Supergene Enrichment Zones Secondary enrichment, gold can become concentrated near the surface due to weathering processes that dissolve less stable minerals and redeposit gold into enriched layers or gossons. This process leads to higher concentrations of gold within a host rock compared to its original state. 6. Associated Minerals Gold often occurs with other minerals like pyrite, quartz, chalcopyrite, arsenopyrite, and galena. These associations can provide clues to the presence of gold during exploration. In many cases, native gold may form small inclusions within host minerals, requiring fine grinding and processing for recovery. Exploration Clues and Geology Impacts Geologists look for specific features such as fault zones, folds, geochemical anomalies, and certain alterations to the host rocks when exploring for gold. Rocks bearing gold may be identified using advanced techniques, including geochemical assays, geophysical surveys, and field mapping. In summary, 
While gold is widely distributed in various types of rocks, it tends to accumulate and concentrate in specific geological settings, making it more economically feasible to extract. The source and geological processes behind these concentrations define how miners explore and extract this valuable metal. Economic and Historical Importance of Gold-Bearing Rocks Gold-bearing rocks have played a critical role in human history, economics, culture, and technological advancement for millennia. Understanding the economic and historical significance of these rocks helps contextualize gold's enduring allure and its impact on human societies. Here's a detailed exploration of these roles. 1. Historical Importance Ancient Civilizations and the Rise of Gold Mining Early Use of Gold, Gold's Malleability, Resistance to Corrosion, and Brilliant Luster made it highly sought after by ancient civilizations. The earliest recorded use of gold dates back to the Chalcolithic period, over 6,000 years ago, where it was fashioned into ornaments and ceremonial artifacts. Ancient Egyptians were among the first to extensively mine and use gold, producing elaborate jewelry, coins, and religious artifacts. Gold as a symbol of power, gold-bearing rocks and the metals they yielded often symbolized divine favor, wealth, and power. Rulers and monarchs from different cultures used gold to display their strength. The ancient gold mines of Nubia and the treasures of the Inca and Aztec empires are prominent examples. Gold rushes, the discovery of gold-bearing rocks has triggered gold rushes that altered the course of history and shaped entire regions. The California Gold Rush of 1849, the Australian Gold Rushes in the mid-19th century, and the Klondike Gold Rush of 1896-99 brought waves of immigrants, transforming the economic and demographic landscapes of these territories. These rushes catalyzed infrastructure development, trade, and settlement, permanently shaping these areas. Monetary Systems and Trade Basis of Early Monetary Systems Gold has long served as a universal store of value and a medium of exchange. Civilizations minted coins made from gold sourced from deposits found in rocks, allowing for standardization in trade. The Roman Empire, for instance, relied heavily on gold coins for trade and expansion. Gold Standard from the 19th century until the early 20th century, many countries adhered to the gold standard, where the value of currency was directly linked to a specific amount of gold. Gold-bearing rocks were mined to boost national reserves, impacting global economic stability and monetary policy. Trade and Exploration The lure of gold drove explorers across the globe, leading to the colonization of new lands, the establishment of trade routes, and encounters, often violent, with indigenous cultures. The quest for gold-bearing territories played a major role in the exploration and conquest of the Americas. 2. Economic Importance Wealth Creation and Industrial Impact Major economic driver, the mining and processing of gold-bearing rocks continue to be a key economic activity for many nations. Gold mining provides direct employment to millions globally and indirectly supports jobs in other industries, such as equipment manufacturing, refining, and logistics. Revenue and Export Earnings In gold-producing countries, gold exports contribute significantly to national revenue and foreign exchange earnings. Countries like South Africa, Australia, China, and the United States have long been global leaders in gold production. In many developing countries, gold mining represents a substantial portion of their GDP. Small-scale and artisanal mining Gold-bearing rocks also support small-scale and artisanal mining, providing income for millions of people in low- and middle-income countries. This activity, while crucial to local economies, often operates outside formal regulatory frameworks, raising social, environmental, and safety concerns. Economic Buffer and Stability Safe Haven Asset Gold's enduring value makes it a sought-after hedge against economic uncertainty, inflation, and currency devaluation. This role has grown more significant during periods of economic crisis, where investors flock to gold, driving demand for mining and exploration of gold-bearing rocks. Bank Reserves and Investment Central banks around the world maintain reserves of gold, 
and private investors view gold as a long-term store of wealth. This demand stimulates exploration and mining activities, encouraging investment in technology and sustainable mining practices. Technological and Industrial Uses Electronics and Technology Gold's excellent conductivity and corrosion resistance have made it invaluable in electronics and communication technology, including smartphones, computers, and aerospace systems. Gold-bearing rocks thus support industries critical to modern technological advancement. Medical applications, gold's properties, including biocompatibility, have found applications in medicine, such as in cancer treatments, dental fillings, and biomedical devices. This further elevates the economic importance of gold extraction from rocks. 3. Societal and Cultural Importance Cultural symbolism, throughout history, gold has been used to symbolize wealth, divinity, purity, and status. Gold-bearing rocks that yield this precious metal have thus been highly revered. Religions and cultures across the world incorporate gold into rituals, temples, and important artifacts. Jewelry and ornamentation, gold is extensively used in jewelry, and the demand for gold-bearing rocks is driven by this market. Its status as a status symbol transcends cultural boundaries, making it a timeless accessory and a significant driver of mining. Environmental and ethical considerations, while gold mining from rocks provides many economic benefits, it can also result in significant environmental challenges, such as deforestation, pollution, and habitat destruction. Sustainable practices and ethical sourcing initiatives, such as fair mine certification, are gaining traction to ensure a responsible approach to mining gold-bearing rocks. 4. Challenges and Future Trends Resource depletion Many easily accessible gold-bearing rocks have been mined, leading to increased reliance on more challenging and expensive extraction methods. This has prompted investment in mining technologies, such as biomining and automation. Climate change and carbon footprint The gold mining industry faces mounting pressure to reduce its environmental impact and carbon emissions. Innovations in renewable energy, more efficient processing technologies, and waste reduction play a key role in mitigating these effects. In summary, gold-bearing rocks are more than just geological formations, they represent the foundation of human civilization's fascination with gold. Their economic impact spans ancient times to the modern era, driving exploration, innovation, and wealth generation, while their historical and cultural significance remains embedded in human traditions, economies, and values.